New at 10, the Phoenix Fire Department is rolling out a new high-tech vehicle to support its drone unit. 12 News journalist Kyle Simchuk got an exclusive first look. At Phoenix Fire Station 61, the future of fire and rescue is taking off. This new vehicle is a game changer for the department's growing drone unit. This is Drone One. It's one of the newest additions to our fleet, and it's an upgrade and investment in the Phoenix Fire Department Unmanned Aerial Systems Program. Before this van, Captain Kenny Overton says crews had to squeeze drones, batteries, and chargers into a reserve Ford F-250. We're making do with what we have. Now everything is organized, and drones can get airborne in under a minute when emergencies hit. And they've been busy. Last year alone, the department's nine drones and 10 pilots flew 971 missions and logged 146 hours in the air. We respond to structure fires. We respond to mountain rescues and reports of lost hikers. We also use these for mapping. We assist our fire prevention and our GIS teams in creating accurate maps for our crews. Some drones have thermal cameras that can see through smoke and identify hot spots. They can also drop flotation devices, and an onboard speaker allows pilots to communicate with people being rescued. Smaller drones can be launched inside hazmat areas or unstable buildings. This is a tool to keep our firefighters safer and to give our command officers the best information possible as quickly as possible. As we were filming, Drone 1 was dispatched to a real-life emergency. A 63-year-old woman was suffering from a heat-related emergency on Camelback Mountain. We launched our drone and we were able to find the patient very quickly based on location. We radioed that information to our command and they're able to dispatch our technical rescue teams up the mountain appropriately. The rescue lasted about an hour. The woman made it down the mountain on her own two feet with the help of rescue teams. Our people are great at what they do, and this is just another tool in our tool toolbox to make them even more effective. Drone One has only been in service for a month, but it's already proving its worth. Seeing it in action makes you wonder what firefighters 100 years ago would think about this 21st century technology. I think they'd be amazed. I can tell you I've been on the job for 20 years, and 20 years ago I thought I was just going to take a hand line into a house fire and put the fire out. And now I control a drone to give our information to our crews in the best way possible. In Phoenix, Kyle Simchuk, 12 News. That is very cool technology.